Hi, welcome back. This is a ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 4. It comes with an RTX uh, 3080. We're going to be opening it and see what upgrades uh, we can do to it. So the plan for today is to install a Samsung 980 Pro. This is a PCIe Gen 4 NVMe drive. It's a two terabyte model. They claim to be able to do up to seven gigabytes per second, read and write. Although Lenovo does make amazing products, they do charge a lot when it comes to upgrading the memory and the hard drive. So if you're looking to save a few dollars, I recommend that you buy aftermarket memory and hard drive and install it yourself. You're gonna save a whole lot of money. Now, as always, I like to use my handy iFixit toolkit. If you do not have one of these, I strongly suggest you get one. You can use it for pretty much everything. And again, it'll pay for itself the first time you use it. This laptop is pretty straightforward. There's a few screws that you need to remove. One of the nice things about Lenovo laptops is that the screws don't come off. They get stuck to the bottom case, so you don't have to worry about losing the screws. Okay, let's take a look at the inside. Here's an empty memory slot. Here's another memory slot, and as you can see, this computer came with uh, eight gigabytes of DDR4. And here is the cover for the NVMe drive. Be careful with this screw, don't lose it. So this model, as you can see, came with a Kioxia, I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, Kioxia Corporation. NVMe drive and it was inside of the sleeve so it goes like that pretty cool I guess and we're going to be again we're going to be using this uh, Samsung 980 Pro a 2 terabyte model if you're looking for the best uh, today this is the way to go the 980 Pro series on the NVMe generation 4 family. So the next thing we want to do here is install both memory modules. This is the first one we're going to be using. It's a 16 gigabyte DDR4 memory stick from TimeTech. And the next one is this uh, another 16 gigabyte from SP. Again, they're both uh, DDR4-3200 uh, CL22. Although not ideal to use different memory manufacturers, they will work. I know that these brands uh, play well with each other, given the COVID shortages, it's whatever we can get our hands on.
Now it's always a good idea to turn on the laptop before putting the lid back on. So let's do that real quick and make sure the computer posts without any issues. All right, and we can see right there, 32 gigabytes of installed memory. So we are good to go. Okay, and the last step is to put the lid back on and put back all the screws. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. I will leave a link down below to all the parts used today and see you next time.